When I was at camp at summer holiday, I really wanted to play with the boys in the treehouse. But they all said no. Why? Just because I was a girl. Another time, when I wanted to play soccer ball, because that time I was a great soccer player at that time, so my team let me join. But once I met the coach, he greeted me with a surprised look and said, my, my, what is a girl doing here? He yelled and told me to leave. I was, I was very, very sad, a bit embarrassed, and felt mistreated and being biased. On my way home, I started to think, why? Why was the tr teacher treating me like this? Why were the boys treating me like that? It was not even fair. I asked my mom, and she also replied that she has gone through this type of situations many, many times when she was a, as an adult and as a child, like not being able to get license for a motorcycle and not being able to do most of the important things that men can do. Then I thought of a question. How is it that my mom and I were having the same exact experiences? Gender inequality is known as sexism, and sexism means to judge someone by their gender. Gender can be separated into two groups, which is male and female. In a lot of situations, sexist things happen, such as boys rule and girls drool, or you can't do that just because you're a girl. Another experience might be when my friend was having Christmas. They had to make a wish upon the Christmas tree, and of course, the, lim the, li the limited amount of wishes were four wishes. That is a lot of wishes. But her mom only fulfilled her two wishes and fulfilled her brother four wishes. If I was in that situation, I would just yell at the mom and slam the door in her face. That's very unfair, right? Being biased, not my thing. Because when you're being biased based on your gender, there's nothing you could do. If you still don't understand, think of you. Yes, you being locked in a room and not being able to do anything, and don't even think about going on marathons. You won't have a chance to do that. Want to vote for a president? Nuh-uh. You don't have the privilege. And the even most unfair thing is that men get to do more, 60% more of the things that we can do, like getting license for a motorcycle, voting for a president, and, getting, and doing the even smallest thing, like getting your very own shop. And you have to mop the table and sweep the floor for the rest of your life. Very boring, isn't it? Well, if we weren't so selfish, this thing could have, ha could have stopped. And only the ignorant would, would think that gender bias is a good thing. Why for so long people have not stopped gender bias? Even people such as Malala keep on stopping gender bias by sticking their hair out when they said that they needed to wear a hood around their hair. And still, this won't stop. It's totally unfair, and by now, there's still there's still lots of people getting biased toward that. So what can we really do about it? It has been going on for years and still haven't stopped yet. I'm sick of being biased, and I'm pretty sure some of you are too. So what can we really do about it? Well, I've got some ideas, but I'll have to include every single one of you. Teachers, you can start fighting for women education. According to Harvard University, only 60% of, of the women don't get proper education. Businessmen, you can start hiring women for work because they'll have great ideas to improve your business. Also, if you really care about gender, start noticing and being aware of our surroundings. If I could talk to my future self, I would say, say no to gender, gender bias and discrimination. Thank you.